Hi guys, this is Taylor Mouse, and I will show you how um, I have set up my 3D Studio Max. Uh, it's version 2011, student version, and I have the StarCraft II art tools installed. Um, anyway, so what I wanted to show you is um, an easy way to access the animation tools. So if you click, uh, you hold down the Alt key and right mouse button, it will give you a quad pop up menu. Um, with some of the an animation features. Now, an initially, these um, six options, they're not available. So I added those, especially bone tools um, and manage layers, uh, because I'm too lazy to find those menu items all the time. I just added to them to the animation uh, quad menu. Now, how do you do this? In the menu, you select customize. Customize user interface and on the on the tabs you select the quads. Uh, on the right hand side from the drop down you, you take the animation uh, menu and here you see bone tools, history, independent IK solver, position constraint, look at constraint, orientation constraint and manage layers. Now these are just dragged and dropped from the left hand side to the right hand side. So for example if I want to have a separator between look at constraint and orientation constraint I just grab it and drag it um, over to the right hand side. If I want to move it, remove it, I could right click and delete menu item. Okay. So the look at constraint is something I never use. I could delete this menu item. Uh, if I want it back, I can just <coughs> select on the left hand side and type in look at and it will pop up. I just drag and drop it. And the blue line, if you can see it on the recording, you can just drop it again over there. And then if you want to save this menu, um, you can just click the save button and save out your um, preferences menu. Okay, I'm not going to do this, I want to have it. And Okay, now the next thing I wanted to show you is some shortcuts and for that I'm going to load up a uh, model and I'm going to take Zeratool. Zeratool is a model from the art tools. Now the problem with this is that if I take the manage layers, there's uh, all of the objects are founded in the default layer. Now the default layer is a layer you cannot change, so um, we we'll leave it. The others, there are no items in there because there is no plus sign in front, so they deserve nothing. So I usually delete those and add a layer which is called the unit. And I can just zoom in and click on one of the objects and add that to the layer. So I again select manage layers, select the layer, and select the plus sign. That means if I now click on the height, you will see that that part of the unit is hidden. Other things to add select them. You can hold down the control key to select them or the alt key to deselect them. Um, I just add them and I think that's it. No more. Alright. Now the second part is the um, the bones. So another one I add. So um, uh, let's see. This is a difficult one. I'm not going to do this right away. Uh, another layer is um, the volume targets, specifically for, of course, uh, StarCraft II. Another layer is the um, tights, not tights, um, like this. Now, as you can see, you cannot select these um, because they are collapsed. What you can do is right-click, 
doesn't seem to be working very well on the and unfreeze all so now you can select the bounce um, the bounce the volume shield the hit test and so on and so on so the red ones are the volume targets and I'm gonna add these to the volume there we are I'm gonna hide them so uh, at the end I shouldn't have anything left so I know that I select everything and Add everything to the uh, to the layers. Hit test. That was it. Hit test. Select the hit test and select the blue rectangles or the blue boxes and add them as well. So another layer I'm going to add is helpers. Select all these helpers, the green ones, and add them to. Come on, yes. And I have some ribbons and particle systems. Um, I normally add them to the helpers as well. Here we go. And light. There we are. Uh, the reference weapons, which are a lot easier to when you select uh, display expand attachment points, you see them better. And when you select them, add to a new layer, sharp attachment points. Now, all there is left. Oh, See, there is another one, so attachment points, add them. So I have the IK chain one and IK chain two, which are helpers. And normally, all of the rest are bones. So if you want to zoom in quickly, just press Z button, uh, select bones, control A to select everything, uh, and then add them. Now, if it's okay. In the default, there should not be any object left. Now, the only issue um, here is that the default is not set to the default, which means you have to select it, which means everything you draw on in Max will be added to this layer. If you select this one, you import something or you draw something on screen, it will be um, added to this specific layer. Okay, so. Now, if I only want a unit, unselect the hidden features of the unit, and there it is. There is there a tool. All right, close this up. Now, if you want to X-ray one of the objects, just select one, Alt X, so you can see through it. Now, the problem here with the movement is when I press Alt and the middle mouse button, is that it doesn't turn as I want. That's because it's set to auto graphic and not perspective. So if I click this and it sets perspective, zoom in again, and then rotate it, it looks a lot better. All right. Um, Alt X again to show the non transparent model. Now, if you want to move this object, just press W and your crosshair changes to a movement crosshair. So I can move this up and down. Control Z to put it back. Now, if you don't see this or you don't want to see these um, usages, you can press the X button and it just shows you the crosshair. Okay. Uh, you can't really move it, but only what you have selected. Control Z to put it back and press the X button again. Press the E button to move it, or sorry, to rotate it. And as you can see, it's rotating by half a degree. So if you want to have it uh, more stabilized, like five degrees, you press the A button and it will shift five degrees. Okay. Uh, again, A and it's back to um, a half degree of 
turning. All right. Um, the other, the last one, I'm going to show you. No, one of the last ones I'm going to show you is the R, which will be the scaling of the object. Okay. Control Z again. Then, uh, as you can see, there are wireframes showing on top of the uh, the object. How do you can turn this off? It's by selecting this, but there is a shortcut, which is F4, and it will um, hide the the wireframe on the top of the model. Or you can press F3, which will show you just wireframe only. F4 again, it doesn't do anything, but F3 again, um, and F4 again. This is rather nice when you're trying to look at uh, all of these things. Now if you don't want the wireframe on top of it, I suggest you choose um, in the configure menu, you select um, or use selection brackets so at least you can see what's selected or display selected with etched faces. Okay, so if I select this, this one will be um, with wireframe on top of it. Now if I go to edit editable poly, select one of the polygons and zoom in a little just to show you. If I click on this it has a faded or shaded uh, poly so at least you know which one you have selected or you don't have selected. Let's see if I set everything okay. Ah, yes, one more thing. If I want to quickly put this or move this to a zero position, and I see that it's not showing very well. Let me straighten that up. So, because of the size, all right. I want this to be on the null position. When I press the G button, it will show me the grid. Okay. So X, I instead of selecting this, putting zero to it, I can easily right mouse click on the arrows, on the little arrows over here, and it will zero out immediately. Okay, that's it. I hope you um, enjoyed watching this tutorial and uh, I hope it wasn't too boring. Thanks for listening and watching and uh, I'll see you in the next uh, tutorial. Bye!